I'm Dani with Epic, and I am here with Caesar and Pablo, who are both working on Scara, the Blade Remains. Hi, guys. Hi, Dana. How are you doing? Hello. Yep. So we are here at EGX, and these guys are showing Scara on the Xbox One booth. Uh, you guys recently brought Scara over to Xbox One. How's very, that? very recently. Yes. As Actually, like, two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. So, um, for those familiar with, you know, uh, the, the UE4 indie community, we've seen Scar around quite a bit for, for PC. Uh, you guys had a pretty successful uh, Kickstarter. Yes, indeed. Yeah, we did. And Steam, Steam Relight. Yes, yes. We this year we did accomplish yes uh, quite a, quite a, quite a lot of good things. We did a Kickstarter campaign a couple of months ago, and we did apply for the green light in Steam. Uh, a little bit earlier, around February, it took us like eight days to get the green light, so that was pretty cool. Eight and, days, uh, again. Yeah, and right now uh, we're planning the release of Skara in early access in Steam for next month, at the end of October. Uh, and yeah, and today we were invited by the Xbox uh, One guys to show the game in the Xbox, so uh, last week we panicked a little bit and we decided to uh, well, see if we could deliver or not. So we, we got the game ported from PC into Xbox One pretty nicely and, and easily. So that was pretty cool. Excellent. Cool. And there is a possibility that the game will come to PS4? Yes, absolutely. We are now talking to the Sony guys, uh, but if things go well, uh, we'll get the game running in PS4 probably around the same time as the Xbox One version, hopefully by February, March next year. Yeah, awesome. Now let's talk about the game. Tell us what Scara is in a nutshell. You want to say? Yep. So Scara, the Blade Remains, is a multiplayer, free-to-play, hack and slash with versus mechanics. So basically it's uh, 16 players at the same time in an arena trying to slice their enemies into pieces. So yeah, it's basically fun, uh, a lot of fatalities and fast-paced rhythm. And you guys use the term MOV to describe the game, M right? MOV is the, is the genre that, that, that we are creating. It's, uh, it stands for Multiplayer Online Versus. So it's basically a multiplayer game for 16 people using versus fighting mechanics. Yeah. And your team is pretty small, right? So, so talk about the team size, yeah. where you guys are based. Absolutely. Um, so we, Pablo and I, are, are originally Spanish, and uh, Pablo is teaching video games in Spain, actually. So he's developing the game in Spain, in Barcelona. We have a team of uh, 10 uh, developers working from Barcelona, and then it's myself and, and Jackson, uh, another colleague, uh, working from London, trying to get uh, as many people uh, involved in the game and, and hearing about the game as possible. So yeah, we are an international company now. <laughs> That's right. And um, let's talk about the development. You guys actually started off in UE3, right? Yes, yeah. uh, a year and a half ago, we decided to drop our full-time jobs, uh, leave everything aside and work in the game that we wanted to make, the game that we thought we would love to play and uh, that we could not find in the market. So uh, we stopped doing anything else we were doing, started working in, in Unreal 3. After only six months, we had a quite good demo that we could show around, take around to people, to, for people to see. And uh, we met you guys uh, at the E3 last Hello, year. Mike Campbell. Yeah. Mike Campbell uh, invited us to, to talk to him. We showed him what we had, the concept. Basically, he thought it was a very good concept to have a free-to-play video game, which is basically a versus fighting game, but with 16 people at the same time. Just, uh, and, uh, and he decided to, to help us out and give us the one of the few, the first licenses for Unreal 4 engine for indie studios. And uh, we've been working with Unreal 4 for oh, just over two, uh, 12 months right now. Yeah. Yeah. And the result, you can see the result is, is quite good looking, to be honest. For such a, well, such a small team as, as we are, actually, we're very, very happy with the results. Yeah, you guys are really d doing a, gr a great job pushing the visuals. The game looks awesome. Uh, Thank you. So, so, yeah, when. Um, what can folks expect to see next from you? Um, well, at the moment, uh, yeah, in terms of games, we're uh, we're focusing all our energy in, in Skara, the Blade Remains. Uh, but we're going to be making a little bit of noise uh, quite soon. Uh, as I said a bit earlier, so we're planning to launch the early access in Steam for around the 27th of October. So that'll be a, a great opportunity for, for folks like like 
people here in the event and people who want to help us out to develop the game even farther and faster and better and quicker um, to actually get into the early access, uh, give us a hand. At the early access, we're going to charge a little bit of money because we need to finish the game, uh, but we're going to give players 100% of the money they, they, they give us back into virtual currency. So they're going to be able to use that money to access new arenas, new, scenario, uh, new characters, weapons, armors, everything. And when the game is more developed and we have our five races and six arenas that we want to develop, probably mid next year, we will do the game free to play so more people can join in. But we want to launch the early access to have the chance to other guys like us to actually help us develop the game and give us feedback. We, we have a lot of people in our forums uh, telling us uh, how do they like the game, what do, what do they want to see in the game. Um, so if you're one of them, just join in and give us a hand. We, we, we are asking the community a lot about what do they want to see in the game, how do they want the game to be, and uh, we're, giving, uh, we're getting a lot of great feedback so far. So. Awesome, cool. So uh, we'll, we'll put the Twitter handle up on, on screen, and if, if you guys would like to plug the website or a Facebook page, where, yes. can, pe where can people go? Absolutely, scaratheblayremains.com and the Twitter handle is at ScaraTBR. So we'll be waiting for you there. All right, cool. Thank you so much for your time, Caesar and Pablo. Thank Best you very much. Best of luck shipping the game. We're all cheering for you. Thank you. All right. Cheers. Thanks.